Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diane O'Carroll. This week, is the Earth raining outwards? Hi, this is Nigel. And I've always wondered, is the Earth leaking? Could water evaporate into space? And given enough time, could the Earth end up like Mars, a desolate wasteland with not a drop of water to be found? So what is keeping all the water in, if anything? I'm uh, Luca Montabone, and I'm a planetary scientist at the Open University. On the Earth, water can exist in all three forms, namely as a solid, uh, liquid or gas. Evaporation transforms liquid water into water vapor, which can then freely move in the atmosphere as a gas. Now, atmospheric molecules, including water vapor molecules, are in perpetual motion in all directions. Without the gravitational field of the Earth, those moving away from the planet would be lost. Even with the gravitational field, in the upper, thin part of the atmosphere, a molecule moving outwards has little chance of colliding with another and would therefore be able to escape if it has sufficient speed. The average speed of a gas, for example water vapor, depends on its temperature. The conditions of temperature at the altitude from which water molecules are able to escape indicate that the Earth can retain water vapor over geological timescales, that is, over several billion years. The retention of water vapor on our planet is also favored by the fact that it can condense, form clouds at an altitude well below the one from which water molecules can escape, and precipitate back to the ground as rain or snow. Adding to all these, we have to remember that water is also introduced in the hydrological cycle from the interior of the planet, for example, every time that a volcanic eruption occurs. So, to summarize, even if a few water molecules are continuously lost to space, the average level remains fairly constant over geological times, which is what we want. There is a little bit in the way of earth water escapology, but it only happens when the water molecules have enough energy to escape the Earth's gravitational pull. Even so, there's enough hydrogen and oxygen being released from the Earth's crust that for a few million years we should be okay. And on our forum, Madida Scientia noted that icy comets are always adding to our watery equilibrium. Given that we have enough water, it's time to do some laundry. Hello, I'm Russell from Great Chisel, and I would like to know why do washing powders remove stains but not dyes? What's so special about washing powder that makes it target chocolate instead of blue dye number six? Let us know on our forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Alternatively, you can email us. The address is chris at thenakedscientists.com. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.